hey guys welcome to civil engineers adda so today we are going to see how to model a g plus 4 uh, story building so i have uh, created a g plus 4 building in ansys space claim so guys you are going to see this uh, i'm just highlighting the key points of my video today then we will see the analysis of that part in the next coming video that is uh, i will do the analysis of this uh, carry out the analysis of the g plus 4 building for various uh, loading conditions and uh, and various boundary conditions as well so i have taken a symmetric structure here i am not uh, much when detail into the different spans i have taken a symmetric structure so that will be easy for uh, learning initially and later on if uh, if you could uh, modify the spans that would be the same thing of this video okay so let's begin uh, without wasting much time so i'll just create a new model and show you how to do it okay so let's go here and let's take the model here so let's load here and now let's create g plus 4 copy 1 okay so let's create this model in ansys space claim so i'm just opening ansys space claim so still it loads so guys i'm doing a, a modeling i'm beginning the modeling here so let's take a line command and we'll choose the xy plane here so that will be better and uh, just select a line command here and here what we're going to do is we'll just create a line so let's uh, take a line of i'm choosing the height of the column to be three meters so which means 3000 mm okay so now from here we are creating a span of say 3000 mm so same thing again height is 3000 mm so we'll create a 3000 so we'll just take it here okay fine uh, so we'll create a uh, one more bay here one more span we'll create one more span span so let's ensure that it is a 180 degree here and now again same thing 3000 mm fine i hope this is clear now so now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go for a nice 3d mode okay in 3d mode you will be able to see there are only line commands here that is the curves are there all these curves okay so what you do is we have to make these curves as our columns so let's select all the columns here and then go here for prepare okay so what one thing we can do is we can rep uh, okay fine we'll do the replication first and then we will have the uh, sections cross sections okay so we'll just take this here and uh, we will create this as a pattern so we have to select a linear pattern here we have already selected so give a count of three counts okay so the pitch should be again i am selecting this as 3000 mm so just for symmetric purpose i am doing this for symmetric purpose okay uh, so we'll select this pan here now just highlight i'm just highlighting this point here select the direction in which you want to create see if you selecting this x here it will come over here and if you want it here then you will get this pan but just make it as four count and just see this okay so you just see there's a four count here so that is done then just click on the green button that is done okay so similarly what i'm going to do is uh, what i will do is i'll just come back to this phase and i will just create the beams here so just take the sketch command again uh, before that switch to the sketch mode here okay take the line command here 
join the points one by one you join don't join it as a single on a single shot uh, now 3d mode again so fine guys i think they it has a it is repeated there no problem so just come back here escape select these three lines as of now they will, they will become our beams later okay now the linear pattern is selected and uh, just have a count of four fine so just select the axis here and uh, if you want this axis to repeat here just select this axis so it is giving you a three count so just make it as a five then you'll be able to see that it is done okay so everything is in closure then if it is okay just uh, create the pattern set on the green button so done guys so our uh, ground floor is ready okay so we'll have g plus four floors here to be created so what we are going to do we'll select everything here we'll just select here and we'll again say it as a linear pattern okay we'll select the linear pattern and uh, we will have this in our y direction okay so this is a y direction so we just want this as a four count so let's see that it's getting repeated in a four patterns so g one two three four so g plus four has been ready guys so you can see how we can create a g plus four in ansys space claim so it's the one of the easiest way so now we'll select the entire thing all the lines are selected now we will go here and uh, we will say this as okay fine guys uh this is done here now what i'm going to do is let's just select this bottom most part here let's select this bottom most parts all the bottom most select them so entire bottom most have been selected now what i'm going to do just be carefully observing these things now say prepare go to the profiles there you go for a solid rectangle okay after selecting the solid rectangle uh, you'll, you'll be able to see that uh, at the end you have got a beam profile double click on that on rectangle again click right click on that oh sorry uh, right click on that edit beam profile so for editing the beam profile means for to editing the cross section so uh, let me take the breadth as a 230 mm and uh, and let me take the height as uh, 300 okay so fine the column is 230 into 300 mm so you'll be able to see this cross section so fine guys so let's come back to our structure here okay let's come back to structure here design part one so you can just see that uh, the the shade of these uh, lines have increased which means that the section has been assigned successfully okay so now what i'm asking you to do is just select these parts and now let's cross select okay let's cross select the other beams now let's cross select the beams here oh just uh, hit take control Hold control and select all the beams now so guys now the all beams have been selected now just go again here uh, same thing prepare rectangle and again select a rectangle here so now you are able to see that there is one more profile that is rectangular 2 that has been created because the two cross sections will definitely differ my dear friends okay uh so let's select this part here edit beam profile so now what we want is our beams to be uh, again the breadth of the beams again should be now i'm just taking this uh, breadth of the beam as 230 and again let them i'm taking the depth so little higher depth 350 mm depth okay i'm just taking the 350 mm depth so now you just come back here 
now you will be able to see that the major portion of your beams are also been selected okay so you just see there but still there are some other portions that have not been selected like this beam okay so this beam has not been selected here just you can see here so for that again just come back here so one more the last part of the things we have to do here so select this part select this then go here take one more cross section beam profile select angle 3 edit beam profile again same thing here 230 mm again take this here it has 350 mm okay fine so let's come back to the design part uh, so all the, the every the model has been created successfully so this is what we have to do so let's just, i hope you understood how to model this so now what I, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a slab for this uh, g plus 4 building so one two uh, one two three and four uh, three four slabs are coming so we'll just create that slabs here for that what you need to take is you just go for this top view here so just go for a top view that is a xz xz plane whenever you want to create you can go for a xz plane here then go for the rectangle so before that you need to create the sketch here then rectangle from one end just be careful that you are correct selecting the correct end point just hold it and drag it up till here then come back to the 3d mode so you you will be able to see that there is a uh, surface that has been created so this is a surface that has been created so for that what need what we need to make is we, we need to extrude it so i am selecting this minimum uh, slab thickness that we should take is 150 mm so i'm just taking it as uh, something more than that so 175 i hope that is fine here okay so this is the thing that we have to consider so now what we can do is again the same thing we can uh, just to repeat the same pattern here we'll just come back out we'll just repeat the same pattern here uh, we'll just have this down uh, so let's see okay so this is uh, four parts done so 3000 mm so we'll have this here bottom part so we'll have this at the bottom so this is done so guys i hope you understood how to create i have perfectly modeled the g plus 4 building with the symmetric span for understanding purpose and i have created the slabs also so guys one very important thing to note is that you're not able to see the column size means you're not able to see the 3d uh, view that three-dimensional view of the column that we have selected for a cross-section actually the column size here what we have selected here it is you can see this it is like 230 to 300 mm the, all the column sizes and uh, some beam sizes are 230 to 350 mm but this part you will not be able to see in the model that you will be able to see in the uh, mechanical apdl that i will show to you now and analysis i will be carrying it on a, a new video so uh, we'll see that we'll try to save this we have already saved this file now we are going to the mechanical apdl so we'll just model it in the load it in the mechanical apdl and see whether all the the geometry that has been created is up to the mark okay so let's uh, i think it's loading so i'll just open it when it loads model has been created perfectly so with all the due respects the model has been created perfectly okay so this is a g plus 4 model so i told you that you will not be able to see this 
you will just be able to see the line diagrams of the column and the beam but they will be actually the cross sections will be assigned but that you will be able to see in the mechanical apdl so you will be able to see those things here so you can just see the cross sections here they are so fine finely arranged so the slab also is ready so i hope this is clear now uh so guys um, in our next video we shall take up okay in our next video we shall take up the analysis of this uh, model okay we'll have the analysis of this model we'll go for uh, the earthquake analysis equivalent static method and all those things will be done in the next video so so guys uh thank you for watching my video please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest videos that i post very frequently and if you need any video in particular just go in the comment section and uh comment for a new video that is required by you that video will be done based on the request so guys i'm taking a lot of efforts to make the videos and i'm sharing my knowledge so please make me a favor of sharing this video to your friends and hit liking this video so that will be uh, very motivating for me to create a lot of videos so thank you guys have a good day